my feathers. We're taking people out in the hallways. That's just the way my feathers are set up. They're coming to slap you in the face. My bad. the idea of being the flamingo for multiple reasons. Flamingos are a sign of new beginnings, and I felt like this could really be a new chapter for me. On top of that, hello, she's pink, she's fly, she's fabulous, yes. This is insane. I actually feel so awkward without my mask on. It's the craziest experience ever. Literally performing without my mask, I was like, what is my mouth doing? Am I making weird faces? It was just so surreal, but it's bittersweet. It's so awesome that I even made it to the finale, and this is just gonna be the coolest celebration ever, just knowing that I've conquered a major fear. If I could do it, anyone can do this. I am so blown away. I honestly, I could listen to you sing that over and over again. The way you sing it was so effortless yeah. and beautiful, soulful, meaningful. Best performance by far, I think, of the show oh. yet. I personally really wanna just walk around like this on a daily basis, me in the grocery store. Voila, just knocking people out with my feathers. Okay, major issue, my feathers. Guys, my feathers are disrespectful. Like, they do not care about who's around me. They have knocked people, sorry guys. It's not me, it's my feathers. Flamingo, I am here for you and your snatched body, your majestic, voluptuous. <laughs> You sounded amazing on that song. My mask Singer experience has been absolutely incredible. At first, when I put the mask on, I was like, uh, people, we can't breathe. How does anyone see in this? How do you sing in this? I'm gonna miss being Flamingo, but you know what? Flamingo will forever be a part of me. I can't lie, it's been super cool showing the world a different side of me. I think I felt definitely way more liberated in my Flamingo outfit. I felt like, you know, if Flamingo hits a wrong note, that wasn't me, that was the Flamingo. If Flamingo did a corny dance, that wasn't me, that was the Flamingo. When Flamingo is doing this and all that crap, that ain't me. I'm too cool for that. That's Flamingo. It's to, it was sassy, it was sexy, it was seamless, it was super, and I've run out of adjectives that begin with the letter S. It was great, it was amazing. I loved nothing more than being anonymous. I actually think that's why I even considered doing this show. I was like, I get to have a mask on and the entire time no one knows who I am and I can just go for it. I was like, I think I'm down. One of the crazy things that people don't know about the show is everything that happens behind the scenes. Like when I come to work or I want my husband to come to work with me, he's in costume too. He currently is backstage with like a purge mask and a boxing robe. It is completely insane. Security on set is like no other show I've ever been to. Everyone walks in here like with masks. There's also this area where the families of the characters can watch performances and if you walk into that room, it's just a bunch of people with masks on. Super creepy. This is Adrian Bailon. She's pink. Adrian Bailon. Fantasia Barina. Adrian Bailon. Jessica Simpson. Adrian Bailon, girlfriends. From the beginning, Jenny kept saying my name, and I'm like, stop, don't guess me. But um, that was kind of crazy. I honestly didn't think I'd ever even be on her radar or that she'd even know I existed in this world. So that was crazy and cool. But at the same time, I really, again, loved the idea of them not knowing who I was. So when they were guessing people like Fantasia or Candy from Escape or Naya Rivera, I was like, yes, yes. It's more like it. When I started the show, I was shaking in my feathers. But each performance has helped me build my confidence. And now, I feel like I can do anything. Oh, we love you, Flamingo! I am gonna miss being the Flamingo so much. It's like funny to say now, but I'm really, really, I'm gonna miss everybody that I got to work with here. I've had the most incredible time.